Hey guys, this uh, track thing one bringing another video um, on how to vectorize an image or make an image uh, into a vector image, which uh, basically what it does is it doesn't blur. So how to make a logo or how to vectorize a logo so you can blow it up as big as you want. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go on Google Chrome and we're going to find our our logo so we're actually going to click on let's go back let's we're going to click on the uh, Batman logo so it doesn't have to be an exact color or anything so I go save as and we're just going to save it as right on the desktop so and we're going to click on it open it open it in Photoshop so there we go um, I'm going to color it so we're going to use our paint bucket so we can have the yellow and we're going to color it in actually so that's actually how I want it but we're not going to pick yellow it's, we have to pick a darker color the reason why we pick a darker color is when we vectorize it um, the uh, software that we use illustrator it doesn't pick up light colors uh, for some reason so it won't let you uh, won't let the lighter colors like yellow, orange, or anything lighter than that uh, get picked up. So we actually have to pick a different color. So it will look like this. So it'll look weird. Um, but again, like I said, if you can't find the biggest image, the best way to do it is vectorize it yourself. Something simple, something a, a logo simple like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually open up Illustrator. So, and that's another program you're gonna need. So, um, Illustrator and Photoshop we're gonna be using today. So, what you wanna do is file new. Everything's okay. Click OK. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Photoshop, and we're gonna click on the magic wand tool. So, we're gonna click on this, and we're gonna do the blue first. So, we're gonna do Control C, which is copy go back to Illustrator control V which is paste so there we go um, at the top make sure it, when you click on it you should have a blue box around it at the top you're gonna see live trace you want to click next to it go down to trace options we're gonna click ignore white and press trace so it should convert it to black now we're gonna click uh, expand if it looks good you can play around with the settings the thresholds you can either go higher or lower um, depending on how crisp you want the lines uh, this actually looks pretty crisp at this setting so we're going to click expand so there we go now what we can do is if we have it highlighted like we do it's got the blue box around it we can actually go up here and we can go click on here and change the color to yellow so now we have it yellow so it's pretty bright actually. Um, next what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Photoshop and we're going to do everything that's in the black. So we're going to click on this black and we're going to hold shift at the same time and we're going to click on the other black. So now we have both the blacks highlighted with the magic wand tool. Now we're going to do is control C, copy it uh, like we did before and control V to paste it. Now once we've pasted it, the same process, make sure it's, we click on it, make sure we go next to the live trace, we'll go all the way down to trace options, ignore white, and trace. Okay, there we go, I should, uh, it looks fine, just press expand. Once you do that, you can actually, uh, we're going to back out, and there we go. This uh, image has been vectorized. What you can do also, you can click here, do a box around it, go all the way down. Uh, there you hit this little box right here, click on it, and you want to go all the way down up to uh, flatten artwork. Now we have it all as one layer. So now when we click on it, it's all one. And now what we can do with it is we can zoom in, and I can show you. Click on it and uh, this image will not blur it's actually it even shows the imperfections you see how the 
the the yellow and the black aren't right exactly identical. It's things that like that that you won't be able to see with a naked eye until you actually zoom in and see it. And that's actually a vector image. We zoomed in as much as we can, and uh, it still hasn't blurred. So that is the beauty with creating something and making it into a vector image. Um, so basically with this you can blow it up as big as you want. This can be your screensaver if you have a 50 inch monitor and it will never blur. When you copy it, control C again, and you paste it into into uh, Photoshop, control V, it gives you the option as, as a smart object, as a pixel based, because uh, the difference between Photoshop and Illustrator, uh, well one of the differences is that Photoshop is a pixel based uh, software and Illustrator is a uh, vector based so you can change it so right here actually what you can do is you can click on pixel and most of the time that's what you're going to be doing and you're going to click OK so there we go it will look pixelated at, at first but just like when you do uh, uh, free transform it's blurry at first but then it changes so what you can do is just press OK or enter and there you go oh, thanks for watching guys